After a months-long investigation, the World Health Organization has found that wildlife farms in China are likely the source of the COVID-19 pandemic. In January, a World Health Organization team of experts traveled to China to probe how the deadly pandemic first started. They're expected to release their findings in a report in the coming weeks. But in the meantime, Peter Daszak, a disease ecologist on the World Health Organization team that traveled to China, gave NPR an overview of their findings. These wildlife farms, many of them in or around the southern Chinese province of Yunnan, were likely supplying animals to vendors at the Huanan Seafood Wholesale Market in Wuhan, where early cases of COVID-19 were discovered last year. The general consensus among scientists was that the coronavirus was circulating in bats and hopped to humans, likely through an intermediate species. That's exactly what the World Health Organization investigations found. The virus likely passed from bats in southern China to animals and wildlife farms and then to humans. The wildlife farms are part of a project that the Chinese government has been promoting for 20 years to lift rural populations out of poverty and close the rural-urban divide, according to Daszak and NPR. Daszak told NPR that in February of 2020, China shut down those farms likely because the government thought that they were part of the transmission pathway from bats to humans. The government sent out instructions to farmers about how to bury, kill, or burn the animals in a way that wouldn't spread disease. Many of these farms breed animals that can carry coronaviruses, including civets, cats, and pangolins. Most are located in or near the Yunnan province in southern China, where scientists previously discovered a very similar bat virus to SARS-CoV-2. The World Health Organization still doesn't know what animal carried the virus from bats to humans. Daszak told NPR that SARS-CoV-2 first hopped into people in South China.